seconds remaining. He throws the nuke and then immediately doppelgangers in anticipation of the spike carapace. Yep. Then I think Afterlife's pretty happy because then he just said, well, then he just used more mana. That's that's all I care Buddy about. But he dodged it. Gee, caught by a, a great Fisher block here from Yapsor. He's having to deal with the cold snap though. G pops a fairy fire, gets a little bit distance. Not enough though. Mid one is going to be able to get the first blood this morning. I like S and Y. I think it's uh, it gives you HP. I think Ags it just it just one of the worst things about it is you need you need vision in order to hit all the lances. Afterlife made it into a bad spike carapace there. Gets run down. Does that help? The help of Silent gets up to the shrine. Gets a little bit heal off. Keeps on trucking. Now Silent's gonna be the next target of Secret's aggression as they dive past the shrine. No rotations. Well, actually, there's one coming. Might be able to get the sound kill. Nice stun from Afterlife. Perfectly timed. The cold feet. Plus, Tioma lands his first turn of the game, I think. Followed up by a Sunstrike, and they do get the kill. Even up to score for one. G is even coming over to get some additional help. Might be able to get Puppy here. Yeah, definitely. Kill the Phantom Lancer. Team Secret getting way too over aggressive. Put on the blinders as they just charge. They have the arcane. They just need like one or two more kills. Back. Ooh. Look at that. Uh, after like poking at puppy doesn't get off the spike hair face down though yeah so it's coming in the sun strike they'll have a lot of burst damage but it's not quite enough to finish off puppy so he used the vendetta damage to finally get the kill after like might just be able to get an extra one here the cold feet doesn't actually proc on yeah sorry he gets out of the way just in time but we haven't felt the impact of this night stalker at all the panel was talking about is like what we talked about in the night stalker and the idea behind putting this here on the off lane and dodging big team fight ults. In this shaker from behind, though, maybe he kills someone, but not with that. Engage. They are going to be able to jump here on the silent. First him down, pretty much. Echo slam being thrown out by Yapsar just to ensure the kill. No. They're ready to siege this, especially nighttime. Nice swap back there. Catching Sioma. Does manage to get the boat out. That'll help him survive. Does manage to get the stun out as well. Ice Blast over the top. They get to turn around and get one kill. Puppy's going to drop low. Will he take down? It's going to be quite close to go down to uh, about 90 HP. If they're scared, they can just astral him. I don't think he's going to. Oh, he's going to try. Goes the stun here. Comes the the rotation from the basis boy. They're going to be able to catch the Night Stalker right before he can finish off that uh, Ancient Apparition. Pull back into the boat. They don't even need the Chronosphere. It looks like they'll bring down Kazu. Stuck inside the trees. Midwan can't even finish off the tower. Now he's going to be caught by the Chronosphere. He's so low. This should be an easy kill. They can just get one proc to the stun or maybe just the Torrent to finish him off. Aloha Dance, well positioned to be able to catch two with that TP rotation. Great defense and great hold from Vega. Was pretty crucial to winning that fight. And he trying to get away, but another Torrent. Well placed by Sioma. Out of any sort of HP item right now. Like, not even threats. They sure stun to stop the combination of X Torrent. They're he's moving out of full force. Yeah, he's sticking out way too long. He's going to be caught by the X. Brought back into the boat. They attempted to swap, but it just means actually two heroes stun. With the ice blast over the top, they're going to be able to catch that vengeful spirit. And MP has no supporting cast whatsoever. He's going to have to time his doppelganger very well here and does manage to get it. X pull back out OD. Then he would have had Midas plus Perez plus Atos right about now. And then he work to his next item, which is going to be the Flint Dagger. But now, this now worth is pretty far behind number one, which is Aloha sitting at 9k. Another Torrent. Boat's coming in, but they are going to be able to get the Echo Sam and finish off the Faceless Void. The Apps are unable to lock down the two supports. You get away, and are actually going to come back in thinking about it. Sunstrike misses on a mid one, but Afterlife's here. He doesn't go for the immediate Vendetta Strike. Feeling that it wasn't going to be enough damage to actually break mid one. Torrent lands, taking off that urge. Afterlife doesn't have any demand to follow this one up, really. In fact, he's got to be on the front of Atos now. He waits out the spike here, makes a beautiful block there from Yaptor. He's actually going to be able to lock down the Ancient Apparition on the side, swap him back into the Fisher block as well. Great synergy for Team Secret as they finally start showing a little bit of pluck in these team fights. Take down three, make it four actually. Oh, coming in, hoping to save the Faceless Void. Give him a little bit of damage reduction. Uh, Team Seeker were attempting. They stuck around, 
trying to get some extra kills, keep Vega Squadron on their toes, but now they're going to be caught. No imprisonment, but there is going to be swap. Mid one is going to be safe for that one. Looks like they're just going to be able to take down the Nyx Assassin. Caught by the Rod of Atos. He still has like no HP. He's also going for BOTs next, so sitting at 1200. That is so low. They got to start pushing out. They are going to be stunned up by the Fisher. Two man stun. Nyx Assassin again. First one dead. That leaves OT a lot of room to work around. He's in threat by that big new of the mana burn. See how the Slayer's gonna be forced to TP out. They have a stun somewhere, mid one, not there in time. And when it comes to the pickoff, potentially, it goes like Shadow Blade on them. I think their whole line is based around enabling them. I would say everyone but the, uh, the Slayer lead off, lead off onto the Invoker Kezu. Gives them the extra bit of burst damage to put down the Invoker. Up, Team Secret, are they gonna go full wraparound here? The dire jungle will wrap around in the high ground. They just gonna play around the Roshan pit. It looks like Vega Squad is gonna try and sneak it in here. Aloha Dance pops out of the pit. He's gonna be caught by an initiation here. It looks like uh, Midwan's already found his opening. Maybe to get the ancient apparition. Here comes the Chronosphere. They have that Roshan in so low. They're gonna be able to get the ancients. Maybe swap back. But he still managed to grab the ancients just in time. But it's gonna cost them big time. They've already lost the Invoker. And somehow Aloha Dance and the rest of his team need to get out of here. Away from this team fight. The extra life does not mean a one team fight, that's for sure. Afterlife looks like he's gonna be caught slowed down by the purge. He's definitely dead. So it's only gonna be Aloha Dance and Sioma keep their heads there in that team fight. Still kind of a win for the deeper. He even has snacks right now, so now they kind of have to catch him with the mix assassin. Missile into a bash today. But Team Seeker are going to have very few of these gank problems very soon. They've got the Agonim Scepter, Fisher. Fortunately, the Ice Blast is holding them down, but they do manage to play forward, get the imprisonment. Oh, no. That's the worst feeling in the world. Nice hand of my, or uh, man to dodge, but it's not enough. Uh, uh, he used Chronosphere to survive, and it doesn't even their worst feeling. Worst is if your Invoker dies down here. Oh, God. Well. Set it, Ben. Mega Squadron. Get the dust, Magic Missile, and, and he shreds an Invoker. Thanks to that Diffuse Blade and all the Illusion Cats. They just haven't been given any opportunity the past few minutes. And yet another kill. Afterlife gets found mid. They may be gonna have a sick combination. Jeez! Mid one fearless. Knowing that Vega Squadron Heroes is just not gonna buy back, he blinks directly into the ancient effort. Fights way behind the tier 3 tower. Claims another kill, gets some more intelligence temporarily. Starts chipping away. Have that melee rack, slow hot dance set up here. Ready to go, but I'm not sure what he can do. And second, that one, that's certainly enough time. Team Secret to get this melee rack. After life running interference here. With the spike air fights, but still having some issues. Midwan's gonna drop pretty fast here, swap back, but he still has the X marks to spot. The counter's there, but he does imprison himself in time. And oh, Lawa Dyance is in trouble. That Diffuse Blade, the Phantom Lancer, is such a threat to these two cores. You're gonna see G drop as well. And he is here, and he's here to clear all of Vega Squadron off the map. Chronosphere finally gets there, but there's no follow up. Invoker's dead. It's just him swinging his mace, and that's not gonna do a whole lot. They're still gonna be able to get the Kunk up. Aloha Dance gonna die. Just call it. Tap out Aloha Dance says GG. Back in all mid one. Oh my goodness. Yes, it was. Did he do a lot of damage on OD? That was crazy how he just, like, was kind of quiet and then just immediately went beyond God, like, in five, six, seven minutes. He was supposed to be countered a little bit by the, the Nyx Assassin pick, but. Nyx Assassin actually just 